And the draw comes to the point. Rafalski shoots. Knocked down in the mad scramble. Lindstrom shoots at a tremendous save by Curry. They've done it. The Penguins have done it. Sidney Crosby and the Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Poke Checking Cards. Hope you're all having a great day and getting excited about the season that's starting in eight more days. I know I am, and I'm recording this right as the championship game between Canada and the U.S. is about to kick off. So this will be something fun to do right before that starts. I'm also really excited because the Essential Credentials channel has been uh, wrapped up. The interview series are all finished up, and I can focus all my attention and energy on making content for poke checking cards. So... I figured it would be a lot of fun to show a tiny little side collection that I have going on of my favorite goalie that plays right now. And unfortunately, he's not on my team because Matt Murray decided that he was going to be really good. <laughs> and uh, so Marc-Andre Fleury, of course, is that person. You can see him on the top right of your screen. And let's get into my numbered cards of him and a couple of rookies and see how this goes. I'm going to show off a couple of upper deck exclusives to start. This is his fourth year in the league with the yellow pads. And one thing I love about hockey as compared to maybe baseball, football, basketball, it maybe is a similar, but any numbered parallel does really, really well in hockey as compared to maybe baseball. It's not as popular. I really like the hollow foil on this exclusive. This is just, yeah, it really stands out with the cursive writing, too. This is from 08, 09. All right. This is from SP Authentic, the SP Notables, parallel out of 100. And I've really enjoyed just finding these for good deals out there. Every now and then they get listed for pretty cheap, and I'm able to pick them up. So it's great. Great to add those types of cards to your collection, especially in hockey. Not easy to come by. Here's a rookie of him from Pacific Quest for the Cup. Really like this picture. Got it for a really good price. It was one of my first flurry purchases. Out of $9.50. A couple of cards from Black Diamond. A couple of Ruby Parallels, I believe they're called. hundred and this one is out of 50 and I really like these cards too because of the way that the player kind of pops off the off the card and the backgrounds all blurred out this is from rookie anthology out of a hundred this is one of the only unnumbered cards that I wanted to show today because of the fact that it's got a really cool background. Kind of got that 90s vibe, that atomic refractor cracked ice look. And if you look closely on his helmet, that's Tom Barrasso. This is kind of cool how they did that. Love those cards. Next is a card that just came in the other day. This is from 2006-2007 Artifacts, third year in the league. Number it out of 50. This is my favorite Upper Deck exclusive that I own of Flurry, because this is a picture from the video you just saw at the beginning of this video, right when they had won the cup. That was a wonderful, wonderful save. Never forget that. This is a, an insert set that they, they do every year, but I feel like this year and the year before were the best they did, and that's the Hollow FX from SP Authentic. I mean, look at that. Something, and that is something else. Ooh, beautiful card. And here, like I said, the year prior, pretty much this is nice. Look at that. If you're a fan of 90s hockey, you might want to go out and grab one of these because there's something else. And he's wearing my favorite jersey that the Penguins ever had, other than the originals. 
or the, excuse me, originals for me would be the 90s, early 90s. They also did a parallel of that, and that is the gold die cut. These were one per case. Just a gorgeous card. And another card with him in that same jersey. SP Authentic, the limited parallel. Kind of like the Upper Deck exclusives, but for SP Authentic, and this is out of 100. And I just love SP Authentic. Their base design is just gorgeous. I would love to open a box someday. But with the prices now, I might have to wait a while. <laughs> Let's go with one last baby blue jersey card. This is the mirror from Leaf Certified. This is just the mirror red out of 199. This is a set that I've learned more about recently. This is Opeachy Platinum. They've got a lot of really neat parallels from that set, but there's the red out of 149. Just look at that. Kind of got that rubies look from Skybox back in 99. Speaking of 90s throwback, here's a couple that will definitely resonate with some people. So, <clears throat> 90, I believe it was 96, 97, Flair did a blue ice out of 250, and they redid that with this parallel. This is the blue ice from Flair Retro. I mean, just look at that shine. Oh, man, that's, that's fun to look at. You can see numbered out of 99. And then they did a Flair Legacy kind of throwback insert. I posted this on my Instagram not too long ago. Nice shine on that thing. That is numbered out of 150. Another 90s, couple more 90s style cards. Flare Ultra was a big one in the 90s and they did it for a couple years in hockey, actually a few years. This is the Platinum Medallion Parallel. It has a ton of shine out of 99 and of course everybody will recognize this throwback the old PMG a lot of them are, are bad with the print lines so I was able to get this for a really good price though so I'm not going to complain he's got the other penguins throwback but this I love that flare metal throwback on the background out of 100. Of course, it's the it looks like the best number out of 100, but it's 83, not 3. Here's a card from The Vault. I'm not really familiar with how they did this in the game, but this is the green Vault card of Flurry. I thought having a card out of 5, regardless of it being like a retro or throwback or buyback, was fun to have, so. Love that picture of him in his real mask rather than in his in like a fake mask like I showed earlier. Another numbered parallel is from SP Game Used. Wanted to show this one just because he's in that second winter classic jersey. My first jersey I bought. That one is out of I don't know if you can see it that well. There it is, out of a hundred. And the last non- Magnetic card I'm going to show is one I just got recently. The only Vegas card of his I'll show because he just looks awesome in that jersey. It's from Allure and Cardboard Underground. If you watch this video, thanks for recommending this card. This is the Yellow Taxi Parallel. And it's got just an amazing amount of shine. It, yeah, you can just look at this in the light over and over again and get excited. And these are not numbered, but I do like how it says that on the top. It's kind of... I have a neat set. I'm quite looking forward to trying to find more in the future. All right, so I've shown most of these off on the channel, but I wanted to show them with my flurry cards to make it more complete. This is one I got recently for a really good amount. I talked about it from Ultimate Collection, a dual jersey autograph of flurry out of 50. It's back. Next is a dual autograph of my favorite goalies to ever play for the Penguins. And the coolest thing about this is that it's on card, which means both of them 
held this card, or at least touched it when they signed it. And of course, as you can see, is out of 25. <clears throat> Next, out of 10, is a Masked Men 5 gold parallel. And yeah, this is a gorgeous card. All right. This is one I showed in my intro video, I believe. But this is a card that I wanted ever since college, and to get this with my eBay bucks back in November was, or October was just a blast. So, the Enshrinements autograph out of 50. All right. This card I've shown before, but it's definitely my nicest hockey card that I own, and that's the Flurry Young Guns. And it is in very, very good condition, which I'm really happy about. That's why I paid what I paid for it raw. It's alive! Here we go. I've got my arms in a super awkward position right now, so you have to forgive me. Hopefully everybody had a laugh with that. But that's why you keep cards in magnetics, kids. Learn your lesson. <laughs> okay, the final card I'm going to show is... A rookie I just got in last week in a card like the last big purchase of 2020 and this is a rookie card of flurries out of 33 from tops pristine and this is the gold die cut look at this oh baby fully deckled edge it definitely gives me that 1999 finest refractor flashback look four out of 33 Well, I hope that everybody enjoyed the video, and I hope you're just as excited as I am. The hockey season is fastly approaching. Next up on the docket will be a Young Guns ranking video, so I hope that you enjoy that. I'm all about card design, and it's going to be really fun to show off my top 10 Young Gun designed cards and hear what you all think about those and thanks again for sticking around and watching this and i hope that you enjoy watching mark andre Fleury highlights as much as i do take care and have a great week